In today's video, I want to go over analog, or better say, the lack of analog inputs on the Raspberry Pi, and how this can be solved with the MCP3008. The MCP3008 is an 8-channel, 10-bit analog to digital converter IC with an SPI serial input. The first time I used this IC was when I worked on turning an Xbox drum kit into a standalone electronic drum set. With the use of some Python and well-documented library from Adafruit, I was able to get it all running. And you can find a link in, for the project on the screen and in the description. I did that project way back. Coming to get myself prepared for this tutorial, I noticed that Adafruit released a new example for the MCP3008 using CircuitPython. CircuitPython is cross-platform variant of MicroPython. And since I did not get to use it yet, I decided to go ahead and use it for this tutorial. Let's first go over the IC pinout. On the left side of the IC, we got eight analog input pins marked from channel 0 to channel 7. On the right side, we got all the SPI pins, CS, D in, D out, and clock. And we got the VDD and D ground for the IC power, and the VREF and the AGND for the analog reference. In this clear drawing, you can see the way it should be connected to the Raspberry Pi. There are a few things to set up in order to use Circuit Python. First, you have not done that yet, is to enable SPI and I2C on the Raspberry Pi set. I'm connected using SSH, but this can be done directly on the Raspberry itself. Open the settings by typing sudo raspi config. Go to the interface options and activate both the SPI and the I2C. You might be asked to restart the Raspberry Pi after doing so. It is always a great idea to update your Raspberry Pi OS before installing things. So we're gonna run the following commands. Install support for the GPIO in Python. And now we are ready to install SQL Python to Python 3 by running the following command. And the reason we are all here for the library for the MCP. And last thing I promise is the bundle that will bring the BASIO library with it. And now we are ready to rock and roll, so let's copy the first example and run it. And as you can see, we got a result back. My potentiometer is set roughly in the middle, so a value of 1.7 volt is just about a half of 3.3 volt. Let's review the code. We first import the needed libraries. The SPI bus is declared with the right GPIOs. We define the cable select pin that is needed for the SPI as well. We then create the MCP object out of the library. And then we can get a single channel using the analog in function out of the MCP object, getting the mcp.d0, which is the first channel. And then we, add, we output the channel value and the channel voltage. Now the channel voltage is a calculated value. And now I'm gonna make, I'm gonna add the uh, time library and I'm gonna do a short loop here to show you another important piece of information. Time added, while, and sleep. Let's save and run. I'm done in the potentiometer. Note that the value goes way past the 10-bit limit, which is 1023. The reason for that is that Adafruit has mapped the value to meter other libraries output of 16-bit. So don't let that surprise you. I hope this gets you started making cool stuff with it. You can find some on my channel. If you didn't do it till now, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and see you next time.